this video we're going to talk about why it's important to go on a job site visit why you want to go on a site visit in the first place some of the things that you're going to look for in a site visit and then of course some of the questions that you may want to ask whoever the stakeholder is so here in a little bit when i actually get to the job site we are going to be looking at this actual project and you guys are going to follow along on how we do our site visits let's get started tell you a little bit about myself so you feel comfortable with who you're getting your information from. My name is Zach Blankensop. I'm the owner of a company called Digital Roofing Innovations. I'm a licensed general contractor and roofing contractor in over nine states. I'm also a U.S. military veteran. All right, let's go ahead and get started with the video. I've currently been in Gorham, New Hampshire. As you can see, I'm not very well shaved right now because uh, I've been on a project up here for the National Forest Service. Uh, we've got a break before we get started on the next phase of the project. So I decided to take some time away to go personally look at a project that we're going to be probably bidding in Virginia. So I've got a 13 hour drive from Gorham, New Hampshire, all the way down to Salem, Virginia at the Salem VA healthcare system. Now this particular project that we're going to look at is going to be a slate and synthetic slate replacement at the VA medical center in Salem, Virginia. Now this job has some slate, has some synthetic slate, some asphalt shingle, some cornice replacement, some reflashing of the entire system. Um, we're also gonna be putting in new gutters. Uh, it's mainly gonna be copper that we're gonna be installing. So it's a pretty big job. We're looking at uh, the magnitude of this project is gonna be somewhere between one and $5 million. So uh, these types of projects this big, I highly recommend doing an in-person site visit. Some of the roofing contracts that we do we can look on satellite imagery or aerial measurements and be able to see all the information that we need to see to properly bid on those without having to physically go out there. But obviously in a project this size, you have to go out there to see all the different situations and maybe problems that you'll run into during the construction of this project. All right, so now that we're out here on the project, there's a few reasons why you always wanna come out and do a site visit. In my opinion, the number one reason why you wanna come on a site visit is you wanna look at all the conditions of the job site. Now, there's a lot of things that you can get by looking at the pictures, you can look at photos, you can look at drawings, you can look at all the specifications, but there's nothing quite like actually getting out and doing a site visit. So you'll get to see all the buildings, you'll be able to see where the materials are gonna go, you're going to be able to see what hazards that may come up. You might be able to see things that are not going to be in the specification. So I think all that stuff's very important, and that's only really things that you can do while doing a site visit. The second thing is you get to actually meet the stakeholders for a project. Now, for this particular project, this is for the Department of Veterans Affairs, so we'll get to meet the Department of Veterans Affairs guys that we're actually going to be fitting on this project with. And you can ask a lot of questions that you typically won't be able to ask outside of that, especially if you're bidding on any kind of state, local, or federal government jobs that you may not be able to ask at an RFI or request for information that you can ask in person. So being able to meet the stakeholders and ask those extra questions, I think is a huge, important part. And then finally, I think the biggest thing that isn't necessarily something that's gonna be found in your state of work or that is going to change this say the outcome of your bid but you're going to also be able to see who your competition is so when you go to site visits you're not only getting in be able to look at the project itself the stakeholders but you're also going to see who you're going to be bidding against in these projects a lot of times you might be able to strike up some kind of mutual relationship with some of these companies we certainly have and there's a lot of times that you're going to be able to identify some people that have beat you in the past and you know about what they're going to bid so i think that's a huge benefits you have on going to site visits and actually seeing who you're going to bid against. Now, we're going to go ahead and do the site visit and I'll catch you after we get finished. Because if I remember right, he said he's got a contract. Yeah, I do have a contract. Painting the entire campus, right? Yeah, I do have a contract for that. For painting the entire campus. For certain spots of the entire campus. Because okay. I don't want to paint it if you ain't paying them. You don't want to pay me, you know what I mean? Because if I have it in the bid, I'm not giving it all back. 
Right, that's right. This is his corridor 77 through 76. So we just doing the round part or are we going that part right here too? Ooh. Walter! I think that is the actual question that needs to be addressed. <laughs> uh, the EPDM surface on the pass through and over there has been redone. It is not included. Okay. 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 So all this right here is going to be synthetic slate that we're going to be putting on here. Taking off the asphalt shingle and putting on synthetic slate. All right, so the staging area for this project is going to be right over here. The problem is, is uh, this is really easy for this portion of it, but where we're going to be doing the slate is all the way on the other side of the campus, which is a pretty good haul, probably a quarter of a mile from there. So that's the staging area. Over there is where, on the other side, is where the slate is, and this is where the synthetic slate is going to go. Uh, one thing to add to this is make sure to look at this joint here. Let me see if I can zoom in. So that's flashing. This in between. So there's joints that run all over this to help better center that synthetic slate. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the handrail. Yeah, it's, it's synthetic. It's plastic. I said, yeah, yeah, the new synthetic stuff. That's what you want to put back up across here. Yeah. All right, this building here is what this building is going to look like. So it doesn't look like that here now, but as you can see, phone's gonna allow me to zoom in. There we go. We install in two rows of three of copper snowbirds or snow guards. You see the new copper flashing, the new slate roof. This is going to look like that. Okay, the site visit is finished. Went really well. As you can see, there's a lot, a lot of things to see in the project. I'm going to go over one more time that the three important parts of doing the site visit is actually being able to see the project in person, being able to see all the different things that's not on your statement of work or it's not in the plans or the specifications. The second thing is you actually get to meet the stakeholders of the project and lastly you get to meet your competition guys if you enjoyed the video please give us a thumbs up it really helps out our channel a lot if you haven't subscribed to digital roofing innovations here's your official invitation as always the digital roofing innovations we believe in using a modern approach with traditional values have a great day